Hi. I want to share a process that I find extremely valuable. You know, I'm sure, that our brain is wired, the neurons, pathways in place with ideas, concepts. By the time we're five or six, those pathways get created from the stories we hear, the experiences we have, what we absorb from subtle message, uh, messages around us. So if we are carrying, being in, raised in a Hi, I want to share something I think is really important for, for me and I'm sure it will be helpful for you. As you know, our brain gets programmed by the time we're five or six. And what is it programmed to? The stories we hear, the experiences we have, the emotions that we absorb and make, make up stories about. So by the time we're five, six, seven, certainly by eight, the brain has been wired to perceive life and react in life in a certain way. And that's good for when we're little because it gives us a foundation to walk upon. That's called maybe the tribal mind. But as we grow, we might not want to carry those concepts with us into our life and yet they're in our brain. And the wiring creates the chemicals, creates the emotions, sparks the memories, and whoa, down the rabbit hole we go and we begin acting like a five-year-old until we kind of bring ourselves back. It's called being triggered or emotionally flooded. That's one of the experiences that happens. So what do we do with that? Well, there's a lot of processes that says we can rewrite our stories, and I certainly teach that. I use reality statements within a reality shift process, and that is powerful, and yet that's not brain work. That is working on the mental, and sometimes the physical, we make new action steps, make new structures. So I want to share with you a tool for the brain itself. It's called Brain Balance. And it comes from the work of the educational kinesiology community and Psyche K community. So <clears throat> we begin with knowing that we want to write new stories, conscious stories for our lives. And so we do that. We might do an affirmation. I do a reality statement. And it might be something like, I am in a community of individuals who are generous, healthy, mature, and joyful. And in my work, I would say move my consciousness into that reality, tag and transform, heal what no longer serves me, bring in the PTO in order to identify any parasitic attachments that lock me into those patterns, etc. So you do the you do whatever you do, writing a new story, letting go, breathing away. Now let's put it into the brain. So here's the, the brain balance. This movement called the cross crawl works to activate and speak to the right hemisphere. This movement called puppet works and speaks to the left hemisphere. So the movement is how the brain gets programmed. Activities, walking, dancing, yoga, all of those things can be used. But here's the process. We're gonna wake up the brain do a few cross crawls, do a few puppets, saying to the brain, wake up, we're ready to, cho to go. Now, what do you want the brain to um, align with? Well, I'm in a community of individuals who are generous, healthy, loving, and joy-filled. I might've changed some of those words, but that's okay. You get the idea. Okay, that's what I want my brain to connect with. Got it. So I'm standing straight, my nose straight ahead. I am going to use my eyes like a paintbrush, starting way stretching up way high to that side of the wall. I'm going to go back and forth with my eyes like a paintbrush, as if I am painting that wall with my eyes while I do the cross crawl. And what's that about? 
communities that are loving, generous, joy-filled, and healthy. All the way down, stretching as far as you can go to the sides. And now begin to stretch all the way down as far as you want to stretch down to the bottom. Done. Okay. Next. That was the right brain. We need it in the, in the right, in the left hemisphere. So, no straight, same movement. Using the eyes as the paintbrush puppet. My communities are filled with individuals who are generous, loving, joy-filled, and healthy. Just all the way down, stretching your eyes. Okay, now right hemisphere, left, left hemisphere. Just let your energy move those arms and hands up, representing the hemispheres of your brain, modeling, connecting pathways between the two around that concept. Moving the energy down through the power centers, the chakras of the body, down into Mother Earth, grounding roots there, pulling the energy up from her for that story. One hand on the set power center of the solar plexus, the power center of the heart. And take a moment to just imagine yourself in that community. And feel the delight camaraderie, the feelings build. Breathe it in. And then you cross call to anchor it in. And there you have the process to get the brain on board. If you're dealing with a, a, a pattern that's very intense, you may need to do those cross crawls several times a week for a month. If you, if it's something kind of like an easy one that will pop and get connected quickly, then you might do it several times a day for a week. So, blessings on that brain work.